hey, I finally actually had to move it up. That's a first. <laughs> you don't have any questions? You don't have any questions? That's a first. Oh, yeah. No, it was great. You know, I mean, anytime coming to events like this, especially coming overseas, you expect to, uh, you know, have the crowds against you, not on your side. Uh, so that, that's the name of the game. And so, you know, to get ban friendly banter back and forth has been off awesome. I mean, especially this week. I mean, first time to Australia, and it's been nothing but amazing. And, uh, you know, I look forward to the week to get started. What do you expect when the tournament starts? Do you feel there'll be a minute backlash from the other side? I mean, I, I hope the fans aren't cheering for the U.S. side. I mean, as a, you know, a, as an away team, you would expect the fans to be on the other side. But, uh, you know, I mean, the fans so far this week have been great. And, you know, everyone I know from Australia has been a really class guy. So, I mean, I just, I just look forward to a great week. Can't wait for Thursday to start. After the bottom of the day in Albies, you mentioned that was it a deliberate act of what they saw in the Indigenous? Correct. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, while I was in the waste area, I, I didn't feel like it was uh, an intentional or anything. And if I would have saw the sand move, I, I knew immediately if it did, then that's a penalty. And, you know, I didn't see it move. And because of that, they were able to show me afterwards. And, you know, because the sand moved, it's a penalty. I mean, it, that was last week. And we're, we're glad that, uh, you know, we moved on and hopefully uh, continue playing some good golf with these guys this week and bring home the cup. No, of course not. Sorry, is there any way y'all can either speak a little louder or step a little closer? Well, it's not the right word to use. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, whenever you're out there, if you're unintentional, if you do something unintentionally that breaks the rule, it's not considered cheating. And at the end of the day, that's what it is. I mean, if you're intentionally trying to uh, do something, then yes, that would be considered cheating. But I wasn't intentionally trying to improve a lie or anything like that. Because if I was, it would have been a pretty good line. I would have been able to hit it really close. But it came from one of the guys that you're going to play up against. Does that change how you're thinking about that? No. You know, I mean, it, they're not supposed to talk good about us. We're not supposed to talk good about them leading in this event. I mean, that's normal. Uh, you know, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, all I can do is control me. And what comes out of my mouth I can't control what comes out of others. Well, it's just wrong. It's not right. Um, you know, especially, you know, afterwards when I saw it and I, you know, and, and when I talked to a slugger, uh, immediately both of us knew that it wasn't from intent or anything like that. And, you know, if you intentionally try to do something, then it is considered cheating. But if you're not intentionally trying to give yourself a good lie or intentionally breaking a rule or something like that, you're, that's not considered cheating. It's just considered a breach of rule. Well, of course. I mean, it's not, I mean, you know, it just turned in from now all of a sudden wanting to beat those guys to now turning personal, so it's going to be a fun week. So you, you, you feel like you know, it's a point to prove, especially against some of the guys who have been very outspoken on the other side? Well, I mean, of course they're going to speak because they want to get their crowds going and get on their side. I mean, that that's the name of the game. But at the end of the day, all I can do is go out there and control what I do and how I play. And so it doesn't matter who I'm playing on the other team. My job this week, as captain has told all of our guys, is go out and win your point. And, I mean, whenever your name's called, you have to go out and hopefully win your match. And, you know, that's, that's what we're going to try to do, go out and, uh, and win the point. Not to, not to prove anyone wrong or do anything, but strictly win the point for myself and the team and in our country. Have you ever told us you not cared about what anyone said about you? Not really. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you can't control what other people say about you. All you can do is control what you do. And if you, if you feel like you're living the right way and you're going about things the right way, then, I mean, you're living life the right way. I mean, but at the end of the day, you have, with having so many different opinions on everybody, it, you know, you can't please everyone. Tiger said he had a conversation with you over the past few days about this whole situation. Have you addressed the situation with your teammates and with Tiger and had that conversation? That was easy. All the guys on my team know that it wasn't intentional and that, hey, yeah, it was a breach of rules, therefore it was a two-stroke penalty. You accept the two shots, you move on, and, you know, try to play the next day and try to win a golf tournament. Tiger said to you about that? That's about it. If you found yourself matched up against Cam Smith, how would you feel? 
it's just it's an opponent. It's one of their 12 guys to go out and play against them. I mean, my job is to go out and anytime a name gets called, to go out and try to win a point. So it, it doesn't matter who who it is I'm playing on that team. I need to go out there and try to do the best I can and win a point for my team and my guys. Is there not an element of it to be personal though? Is that hard to block that out? You know, I mean, you can always think it's personal, but at the same time, when you get behind the ropes and you get, well, you get inside the ropes, you know, you, it's just you and the golf course and that one guy you're trying to take down. I mean, it, crazy thing in match play, sometimes it takes 63 and you win a match, sometimes you shoot 63 and lose a match. So, you know, it just all depends. I mean, you have to go out there and just play the best golf you can, hopefully uh, do what you do, and that's a good point. How would you describe the support plenty of from teammates Yeah, I mean, I the biggest thing is all of us are out here and uh, I feel like we're all having a good time, have, meshing really well. I mean, we got out there, I mean, it's been a long been a long trip. So today was kind of the first full day and I felt like last night was great with all the guys. And, and today when we were playing, there's a lot of friendly banter going back and forth, having a good time. And, you know, I feel like it's been a great week so far. You know, the biggest thing is to continue to, uh, you know, grow as a team and, and become one and, and go out and play the best golf we can. It always helps, you know, I mean, it, it, it is kind of awkward whenever you do come over and, and if the crowds are cheering for you and are on, on your side because you almost feel like you're at home. So uh, I'll never forget my first my first event I ever played was, uh, you know, on a team-wise was the Ryder Cup in 14 at Glen Eagles. And there's nothing like that banter back and forth with the fans. You know, it's a lot of fun. And I think the, the great thing about it is how everyone – Whenever we're out there, whether it's, whether you're at home and they're and they're giving it to the international team, or whether you're well, you're away and you're on foreign soil, is even though there's friendly banter back and forth, they never cross that line. You know, you, you always stay in the respect side, and I think that's the biggest thing is uh, which is so fun and unique about these events is you can give it back and forth and still be respectful of the guys. Oh, today? I mean, it was, it's always great playing with Tiger. You know, I mean, because you get to, you know, you kind of freeze you up. You, can do, you, you know, everyone's focused on what Tiger's doing. But um, the good thing is, w whenever you're playing with Tiger, you're also learning a lot. You know, just not not just on the golf course, but kind of a way to think around golf courses, etc. Especially at a place like this where you've never seen before, and and the greens are uh, really firm. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I've just always enjoyed it. I've always enjoyed being the, uh, you know, I guess you'd call it the underdog. You know, I mean, since you're the away team, everyone wants you to be, uh, you know, everyone, when you're at home, you're the home team. Everyone's pulling for you. So when you're on the road, you know, you're that away team. And I just think it has more to, you have more to prove because if you're not playing that great, the fans are giving it to you. And, you know, but if you're at home and you're not playing that well, the guy, you know, you have your crowd to try to pick you up. Well, you just have your teammates and yourself out there to pick you up, so it just kind of shows you how strong you really can be. No, I'm not at all. Um, you know, I mean, whether it's whether it's this week, or any week it is, you know, whenever we're playing for a President's Cup, you go out there and, and you just probably try to play the best golf you can. I mean, I, I don't feel like there's ever been a year where it's like, oh, I have more to prove this year or that year. The biggest thing is just go out there and, and do your job. You know, whether you're playing all five matches, whether you're playing three matches, two matches, four matches, it, you just have to go out there and anytime your name gets called, go out there and try to win a point. He's playing. <laughs> you know, and it, it, it's hard. It, it's hard to compare all the different captains. You know, because they're all different. You know, they're all unique in their own way, but. You know, anytime you can have Tiger in your corner well, on the field and also off is, is amazing. I mean, he's he's great. He, uh, you know, we get to see a different side of Tiger. I mean, growing up, we, we saw the Tiger Woods that didn't really speak, was throwing fist pumps and just, you know, was out there intimidating everybody. And now we're actually being able to get to know him off the golf course, which is which is amazing. You actually get to know the, the softer side of him off the golf course. But, uh, you know, when you get on the golf course, you, you know, there's nothing like an ultimate competitor and you're able to go out there and, and feed off that and grind with them.
Even if he did, I wouldn't tell you. Yeah. How's he, how's he playing though? What you think of the target today? Played solid. You know, I mean, I think all of us, you know, after being on that flight for so long, just want to get out there, play as many holes, and just kind of get loose, get get the body moving again. And I felt like it's uh, it's all gone, you know, pretty well for the uh, first day for all of us. I mean, I felt like our group played relatively solid throughout the whole entire day. What'd you make of the course? Did you drive? I thought the golf course was unbelievable. Um, you know, once I knew I made the team, I actually watched a lot of the 2011 Presidents Cup and seeing how firm and fast and you know it was, it was brown, really brown. And now all of a sudden you saw how green it was. I'm sitting here going, okay, it's you know it's going to be relatively you know it's going to be softer. Not the case. I mean, I, I, I mean, I still won't ever forget that like 85% nine iron I hit into three today that landed that front flag landed right next to the hole, ended up over the green. I mean, you just don't see bounces like that at home, so you just have to get used to, you know, doing that. And with how slopey the greens are, you can be really creative. And it's kind of golf I love is just be able to kind of see different shots, play different shots, because there's no one way to play any of the golf shots out here. Yep. Yep.